Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some naughty pretzels. Uh, these are the honey mustard. It says the official pretzel of beer. Uh, so honey mustard and then smoky cheddar bacon. Um, chili lime and hot wings. These were $4.29 each at Home Goods. And uh, did we find these in the checkout aisle? Remember. We've had these for a while. Yeah, so we don't remember. Yeah, <laughs> we, we we buy things and then we put them up in the cabinet. And if a bunch of new stuff comes out or if people send me stuff, then I try to get review that stuff first. So these have been up in the cabinet for a little while. Um, it says compare at $6 and we got them for four twenty nine, dollars so I guess that's a good deal. It says from those early days when two young guys from Atlanta, Georgia breathed new life into an old family recipe to earn taco and beer money, Naughty Pretzels earned the title of the official pretzel of beer. Sean and Casey think you'll agree their distinctive small batch pretzels actually accentuate the flavors of your favorite brew. So go ahead, enjoy this twist on a classic mustard with a sweet honey flavor to get your palate ready for the next round. And they are Georgia grown, it says. Uh, seven and a half servings are in the container. One ounce, 28 grams. About 12 pretzels are 150 calories. It also says what kind of beer that kind of... Oh my gosh, the... that's so cool. Naughty pretzel pairings. Honey mustard flavor pairs well with German Hefwins... <laughs> IPAs <laughs> and Belgian style... Blah. Okay, there we go. It also says IPAs. Yeah, there we go. We don't have beer drinker, you probably know what Yeah, are. you probably know. Well, I'm just now learning how to say yingling. Yingling. Because I never had heard anyone say yingling. Well, now I watch this guy on YouTube that loves yingling. And so he says it, and that's how I know how to say it. But it's not like I'm seeing commercials for these beers. So I, how would I know how to say yingling? Okay. It's a, it's a, it looks odd to, to look at it. I like the texture of them. They're that, not a really hard, hard pretzel. I tell you what, that is like, I'll be surprised if you actually like that. Because they're, they're okay. Okay, I'll tell you <laughs> why. Because they taste like, um, when I make deviled eggs, they taste like the center of my deviled eggs. And no. Kevin does not like, like deviled eggs. he does not like my deviled eggs. And they have mustard and stuff like that. They and have. That's, that's, Three things. They have mayonnaise, mustard, and vinegar. But the two strongest flavors in my deviled mustard eggs vinegar. is mustard and vinegar. That's what that tastes yeah. like. Yeah, there's no honey there. So I love these. I, I think they're great, but I knew Kevin wasn't going to like them. Yeah. Now it tastes more like a table mustard. Yeah. And a, a yellow with the mustard. Vinegar, with a yeah. vinegar hit, they don't taste like other brands of honey mustard, which I really love. Yeah, I use Plotchman's yellow mustard. I can get it, but it's just gonna take me a second. Well, I, I use yellow mustard and... Um, and regular white table vinegar. And I can, listen, deviled eggs. I, I love, me and Andrew can eat some deviled eggs. Mm -hmm. uh, smoky cheddar bacon. Hmm. Smoky cheddar richness and sweet and salty bacon. And this bacon cheddar flavor pairs well with fin Fitz Filsner. Fitzner. Fitz Filsner. It has an L in it. A stout. Milk stout and porters. Milk stout? I think we had a milk stout something. Our folks. We probably did. We reviewed a whole advent calendar from Aldi. I think one of them was. Of all these different beers. That was fun. I like those. I do too. I, said, I don't taste really cheddar really, but it's good, good smoky bacon flavor. You taste the bacon. Mm -hmm. That's what you taste. And salty. You get smoky, uh, salty, bacon. That was what was missing from these is it didn't have any really salt on them. Now I'm getting cheddar. I got, it kind of uh, is an aftertaste. Yes. So once the bacon, it's weird how that works. Mm, it's like. Good. It's magic. I can um, eat like half that bag. Yeah, once the bacon <laughs> is gone, that's what's left is, is the cheddar. Mm -hmm. um, I still like the mustard. Oh, 
I love the honey mustard, but it's not really honey mustard. It's really just mustard. mustard. <laughs> For me, I'd call it, it deviled egg. <laughs> okay. Nobody wants to eat deviled egg on a pretzel bun. It's good. Not, not the, the marketing department probably wouldn't agree with They that. probably would not appreciate me saying that, but it, I, I like it, so that's all that matters. Chili lime. This one says new. Did any of the other ones say new? Nope. No. no. Chili lime's a new flavor. Oh, wow. uh, so this, uh, 140 calories for 12. It you'll says like bright tangy lime and chili pepper heat. Yeah, you'll like them. Is this them? Yeah. That has your kind of flavor. Chili pepper. It's got chili powder, which gives you the heat and the chili flavor, but it has this little burst of brightness from the lime. That literally tastes like Mm. You've eaten a ball of chili. Yeah. The lime yes, don't want to froze it off just a little bit. But luckily it's not too strong. No, not at all. I love that. Love that is that is awesome. But it's it's spi it's spicy hot. It's so pretty, it's pretty hot. So like it's not flaming hot, but it's like a bowl of hot chili. That hot chili spice, that's yeah, what like that's, chili powder. Chili powder. You're getting a lot of chili powder. But I absolutely love yeah, that. It's very good. Terrific. Yeah, I like that little burst of, it, it literally sparkles. Like a mm. little, like bursting uh, citrus flavor from the lime. It's really good. I'm just manhandling these bags. Okay. Yeah, this one should be interesting. This Oop, one I gave you way too many, I'm sorry. Hot sauce like. Hot wings. 12 pretzels are 150. Uh, classic buffalo style hot sauce. Um, sizzle of our hot wings flavor. Okay. Mm. You know, after getting the chili lime, which is so strong, those are kind of light. We try to put them in the order, although that's packing some heat. It's got some heat to it. Um, and it says hot wings. It, it is hot wings. It's, it's the, like, if you eat a lot of hot wings, then your lips will start tingling. Your mouth will start to tingle. That's what that that has is that level of heat. But I don't really get any um, above like the. It doesn't say buffalo. I know it doesn't, but that's what you think. Um, it doesn't have that hot sauce flavor, like the peppers and the vinegary kind of flavor. It doesn't have the vinegar, the level of vinegar that we are used to. So it has the the the, 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 hot, the heat, but it doesn't have the vinegar. I don't think. No, those are okay. Um, Definitely got hot. Though, um, though, yeah, they're, they're, there's nothing wrong with them, but there's there's other ones that I like so much more. My absolute favorite is that chili lime, and I would have yeah. never thought that. I know. I absolutely, lime, lime is not a flavor you really love. No, but that chili powder, I, if you love chili powder like I do, I'm telling you, that is awesome. That's my number two. My cheddar bacon's my number one. So you got you my got, deviled eggs, <laughs> my my honey honey mustard. I, I love it. I love that. So uh, cheddar bacon is my number one. Then it'd probably be the chili lime. Okay. Then I would probably honestly pick the the wings, and then I'd pick the mustard. These, like I said, are from Georgia. I have uh, some viewers in Georgia, so you're gonna have to let me know if you see these in your store. Have you bought them? I would think, you know, it's a Georgia product that you would have tried them. Um, I think they're terrific. I they're think good. it's a shame that we've only seen them at home. Yeah, they don't sell them in any regular store right now. No, they don't. And we're not and, that far from Georgia. No, we're not. And, and, and should they sell them in the store? Yes, they should. The store would be smart to get these in because beer no you don't need beer to enjoy these no, at all no. um they're that, just good yeah they're just really really good and even places that l we have like a liquor barn um liquor barn has different things like this that, that you pair with alcohol that you pair with alcohol we haven't even seen these in liquor barn they need to get them in there because mm -hmm. it, these are just really good quality the pretzels themselves are nice and snappy and, yeah but and, they're not hard i like it that they're not really hard, hard yeah pretzels. Um, and they have they're they're well baked and everything. So if you can get a hold of these, I would totally recommend it. We both agree that we like the chill. The chili is your second. It's my first, but it's still that's the top two of the four. So uh, if you could go for one and you don't mind that heat, I would absolutely get that. If you got a good bacon flavor, do the cheddar bacon. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.